G'day guys, this is Jimmy from RC Truck in Australia with Jimmy. Today we want to have a quick review on this Lasso Road Roller. Or compaction roller or smooth drum roller, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we're going to go through the functions, what comes in the box with the roller. Uh, what else? I'll give you a, you can have a little bit of a video I done on not long ago with it in action. A quick look at that as well. And yeah, no further ado, let's get into it. Alright, first of all, have a look what comes in the box. Have a quick look at this manual. Have a look in the inside as well. Got your Chinese side, you got the English side here. Got your warnings and stuff. Tools or items required. Here's the dimensions of it. Turn it the other way and have a read. If you like, just uh, pause the video and have a quick read as I go through it. Spare screws and stuff like that. Look at that. Yeah, that's what it looks like inside the drum. That's um, a lot of engineering in that, that's for sure. What do we got? Yeah. It's the real deal, so even proper dampening rubber pads as well. There's a blade, got LEDs, and your lights and stuff. This one's ready to run, so you can see that there. The of adjustment you don't need to touch any of that's already been done in the factory the electronic diagram there The only thing with hydraulic on this is, is your steering and your ram on your blade at the front. That's about it. Lockable diff at the back. That's it. That's it for the 
the menu. Let's see what he stick is. As you can see, are you stick it or not? There's two sets of stickers. But the ones already cut out, already on the machine. Let's get these other ones. tools as well cable for the controller some spare screws got some bolts and stuff I'm gonna pull it all out Baby bit of hose, I think that's 3 mil, 3 mil hose. And this little brass, brass uh, screw, I'll show you where I got that from. This is used as their travel, and it's in transport or it's getting shipped around, the, getting shipped around. That's what they use to plug the tank. So I'll show you where that come from. And last of all, the 3S uh, LiPo battery. 3000 milliamp hour battery. I've got roller on the side of it because I've got that many batteries. Anyways, and also got the controller, which is the fly sky. Is it F S dash I six S? We'll go through the functions now. Go through the functions now. The battery's in the back. Put the controller on. Zoom in a tiny bit. And here we go. So we've got left stick forward and reverse. Then your right stick, left and right. Back on, back on the left stick, go side. That's the vibration. Shook the whole bench. A bit of power behind it. You see, I'm not moving that whatsoever. That's. Crazy, eh? Hey? Got heaps of vibrations in that. Okay. Anyways, I'll go up on up on the right stick here. No, oh, good. Yeah. Need your horn. There we go. So go up to turn turn the sound on. See the, the lights on there, the back lights, reverse lights. You can hear it revving up. Switch it off for a second. Look at the horn, get your blinkers. Got the blade. 
side, which is on this slider switch here. Which is pretty cool. Then you got your pump. On the three-way switch just here. Got your lockable diffs. Uh, put the LEDs on this switch here. They're very, very bright in the dark as well. It's crazy how bright they are. I might just turn the light off quickly and have a quick look. Yeah, they're pretty bright. Pretty cool one. Right? Lots of lights in the back. Right. Here we have it. That's the function. Yeah, it's a. You look at it. It's like a. It'd be basically like driving a truck around all the time, but it's actually pretty fun, eh? Anyways. We'll go have a little close-up view of the machine now. We'll go over it, have a look like the in, look in the inside and stuff like that. Anyways. Alrighty guys, we'll go for a bit of a look over it now. There's not much mm, plastic in this, it's basically all metal. Blades metal, everything's yeah, metal, besides your glass, your glass, your little, little chrome pieces on the mirror look like plastic as well. Your plastic, your headlights, and your lenses, your handle. Let's have a look inside. Oh, the detail inside is it's incredible, eh? Holy Jesus. Even look at the floor. Jesus. A quick look in the back to eat the other side. This is all metal as well. And the battery sits in there. Pull the battery out. As you can see there, where that little breather cap is, that's where I've got this little plug from, or screw from. You got to um, take this off when you first get it. You put the breather plug in, and you got to fill it up, then put the breather plug in. That's where you're supposed to fill it up as well yeah. put your ESC's there, you've got one down here as well your receiver the 
four sky F S dash I A what was that? Um ten B trying to read it up spot down. Spin it around and we've got the other side. We've got a bit of weight in the day. And there's your pump runs into your valve block. You can't really see much in there. Eh? Do my best. He's in there to have a look at everything. The toys hard. It's soft but solid. The detail on the wheels is unbelievable. And here's your little tankies, it's nothing fancy, it's just to show. And that's where I found um, the bits and pieces you can fold. It was in a little plastic bag hidden in there. It had the little breather plug. Little breather plug. It had the little hook thing on the back. Shut this down. It had that little hook thing on the back there. It was all stashed in there. So yeah, there's a few bits and pieces in there, the screws and stuff. There's all these, I don't know, I think it was the lights. Pretty sure the lights weren't screwed on. So the screws were, were in a little box with the other bits and pieces and you screw them on when you get it. Let's have a look at the detail in the See, but you can't see that the rubber dampeners in there. It's a shame. steering ram there, same on the other side. Little chrome hard lines run to the blade there at the front. Little ram there. Forward a bit. Watch yourself here. See it's all solid under there, so I can't really show you the lockable diff unless I unscrew it all, which I don't want to do. You can tell. Look at that. Heaps of flexibility in it. Pretty much it. You got your lights, your lights at the top, top lights there, your red lights there, your little uh, wiper as well, little hook thingy at the back here. The 
these lots are incredible light. I do with the lots the end here, I do. What the hell? When I first saw the lots, I'm like, wow. You put them, turn them on in darkness, it lights up the whole room. And there you have it, guys. So put up a clip quick clip of the roller in action. Guys, the Lasso H39 one foot one scale scale road roller, compaction roller, smooth drum roller, whatever you want to call it. Here it is. But they've done a very good job on design this roller for sure. The detailing is unbelievable. The lights on it. So bright that it brought up a room. Oh, the vibration is, as you can see earlier in the video, it's it was shaking the bench and it's moving itself. I wasn't even, wasn't even going backwards or forwards with it. So, this shows you how much, how much vibration it actually, uh, how much vibration it actually got. used in it was ISO 32 grade hydraulic oil. It's the same what we used in other machines in the previous videos. Haven't seen have any issues with that oil. Hasn't caused any leaks or anything like that so so far so good. But yeah where it was purchased from it was purchased from Oliver from Toucan Hobbies. Yeah. Great to deal with. Delivery was quick. He's great to talk to you. If you've got any issues, he'll make sure he'll help you out best he can. Yeah. I'll give him a good, I'll give him five stars, that's for sure. Always talk to him. He's always been kind if I need any if I need any help with anything he's just flicking my message and he'll help you out with any parts if you want to purchase any of the machines like this one just give him a buzz or just message him or Facebook or is it Facebook I think else he's got you might you might be on YouTube as well this yeah you can set up two can hobbies on you uh YouTube or Facebook and send my message. Anyways, I think that's about it. I'll leave the links below for Oliver and Two Can Hobbies. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and don't forget to. What I've been saying in every other video, don't forget to go over to um, Facebook and Instagram, look up Little Big Rick Sydney. Got plenty, got a couple more shows coming up. 
and what's in this in action in person Instagram and Facebook. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or anything like that, just leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright guys. See you.